which was doubled down by the insane thing that happened on the day after I finished the book. Have you been single five ever? Do you feel trapped in a never-ending cycle of shitty romantic situations? Are you just ready to cut the nonsense and find your person already? Well then, have I got the book for you. It's the very thoughts method. As my friends know, I regard this book as something of a Bible. Calling in the One by Katherine Woodward Thomas. <laughs> All marked up, as you can see, like I said, I love this book. So this is much more than a guide to finding love. It's also a guide to being a happier, more grateful, more intentional individual, but it also works. Stay tuned. So I want to start with the somewhat embarrassing story of how I came across this book in the first place. It was a deep, dark eve in the depths of 2020, and I was feeling real low. So like anybody does when they're feeling low, I decided to Google my problems and see if I could find a solution. So I typed in, single for eight years, what is wrong with me? And I came across this article. And basically the guy said, I had been single for nine years. I was super unlucky in love. I just couldn't seem to lock down a long-term serious relationship. Basically he was describing me. Long story short, he read the book and within three months he met his amazing wife and now they've been together and they're happily ever after and yada, yada, yada. Now it wasn't just his story that captivated me, but it was the part of the story where he said this. After this happened to me, I recommended this book to about 25 of my friends. Of those 25, five actually picked up the book and of those five, two actually did the exercises. And then he said, I want you to guess which two of my friends are now in committed long-term happy relationships. Whoa! Needless to say, I did not walk, I ran to pick up a copy of this book. Although, ironically, it took me a year and a half to actually start it, but that's beside the point. So, just to give you an overview of what the book is, it's comprised of 49 individual chapters slash lessons. At the end of each lesson, you have an exercise you have to do, whether that's meditating on a certain idea, journaling about your past somehow, even drawing what you want your future to look like. If you're looking for like a passive reading experience, this is not it. You gotta be ready to put in some work. After all, it is the love of your life that you're trying to call in. So the first half of the book is pretty much therapy in a book. You're going into the emotional trenches. You're unpacking your childhood traumas, you're unpacking your previous relationships or lack thereof, and it's all about unlearning all the subconscious stories that you're telling yourself like, I'm unlovable, I'll never be with someone, I'm undateable, etc. And basically bringing those negative false beliefs to your conscious awareness so that you can start to unlearn them. And this was very impactful for me because I had a lot of blockages going on that I was not even aware of, and I would guess that that's probably the case for you too if you clicked on this video. Once you get into the second half of the book, it's more about attracting the person that you want. So visualizing yourself with that person, thinking about what you want to feel like in that relationship, thinking about, okay, how am I going to set boundaries once I meet this person? And you really kind of prepare to bring them into your life. And in doing so, you end up using the law of attraction to attract them to you. If you don't know what the law of attraction is, it's basically manifestation. So the idea that whatever you think in your head is going to come to you in the physical world. Highly, highly encourage studying up on this. It absolutely changed my life. I love the law of attraction. Look it up. Something that I love about this book is that it doesn't encourage settling. It doesn't encourage lowering your standards. It's actually based on the principle that you can have that soul-filling relationship that you've dreamed of for your entire life if you have the courage to stand for it. And I think that is so magical and an idea that I bring to all of my videos in terms of my experience with the book. As I was reading this book, I could absolutely feel myself changing and growing in real time. I could feel myself having a more positive attitude about life in general, feeling more grateful. I started showing up better as a friend and my interpersonal relationships started to improve. I was becoming way less bitter and salty about being single and more just comfortable in where I was at in my own life. And I just became a much more like spiritual person who believes in the magic of the universe, which was doubled down by the insane thing that happened on the day after I finished the book. Mind you, when I read this book, I had never dated anyone seriously. I was basically posted up in Situationship City. Population, millions, unfortunately. So anyway, I do the book. I do three months of self-exploration and growth and all that wonderful shit. 
And then the day, I am not kidding you, the day after I finished the book, I had my first date over FaceTime with the most objectively amazing guy that I had ever been out with. He was everything on my list. We had a ton in common and I was super attracted to him and the chemistry was chemistry. And most importantly, unlike the fuck boys I'd been dating up till that point, he was totally emotionally available and ready to commit. He saw me as girlfriend material because I finally saw myself as girlfriend material. And we ended up falling in love. Asterisk is that we did break up six months later. While he was everything on the list that I had at the time that I did the book, the relationship that I had with him kind of taught me that my needs were a little bit different than I originally thought. And so we ended up having a very sad, but ultimately very healthy breakup. So I do not take this as a sad or unsuccessful ending at all. Honestly, I don't know how long I would have gone on stuck in that same situationship loop that I was in, if not for this book. And I think that the relationship that I did have was actually just another necessary step to me eventually finding my one forever person. And even romantic relationships completely aside, this book made me a happier, healthier, better version of myself. So I recommend this book to every single person that I meet and I am highly recommending it to you right now. If you put in the work and if you take the book seriously, it will change your life. I completely guarantee that. Now my other key advice is to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I give all kinds of non-toxic dating advice for all genders and I'm just cool, okay? Thanks for watching. Ching!